now we're going to do uh, an absolute classic here, a daiquiri, uh, made famous in Cuba and took a lot of popularity in America in, in the 40s after Prohibition. It's a very simple drink. Um, it's rum, lime juice and gum, otherwise known as simple syrup or sugar syrup. Depending on how sweet the rum, should I say, that you use, it will depend on how much uh, sugar that you put into the drink. So if you're using an agricole, which is a white based rum here, it's quite sweet and fruity, you'd use less uh, sugar syrup. Using your average rum, uh, which has been distilled into oak barrels, then you use your around about 20 mils of sugar syrup. And if you're using a dark rum, which has been aged, and especially if it's been aged in, uh, say, sh sherry barrels, again, that's quite sweet, so you'd use slightly less uh, sugar syrup on the dark or the white rum. In this bar, we, we use <laughs> Manke, okay. is uh, yeah. obviously, obviously a middle aged rum, middle so we're going to use a, just a touch of gum syrup. So we start the mix off. It's a sour drink, and therefore it should be short, sharp, and slightly sour. So I'm going to use about 30 mils of fresh lime juice. With around about 10, 15 mils of sugar syrup. And then finally the rum. Obviously a double shot of rum, 50 mils. We then need to put the ice to chill the drink. It should be short, sharp, and cold. And prepare our glass. Shaking the drink. So we should double strain the drink so there's no ice that will remain into the drink. Now, garnish for daiquiri, if it's a classic, it's simple, there is no garnish. If you want a fruit daiquiri, a flavoured daiquiri, then you would possibly put a garnish of the fruit that you flavoured the daiquiri with. If it's strawberry, put a strawberry on there. Maybe a little bit of sugar as well to help with that sour mix. Uh, but traditionally speaking, daiquiri can be just plain, no garnish, or if you like, because lime is the predominant sour flavour, a lime wedge on the side. There you go.